Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle Naps here. So today we're gonna be doing a tutorial using all the products that I got from my recent drugstore haul. So I don't even know what kind of look I'm gonna be creating, but I'm really excited about it because I just love trying new products. And we've got some really, really good ones here. So if this is the first time you're seeing my face and you like beauty reviews, tutorials, uh, go ahead and subscribe because I do put out content three times a week. So you're guaranteed to find some cool stuff that you like on a regular basis. Okay, so I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit closer and then we can start trying these out. So I basically always start off with my brows and usually I do them off camera, but I do have a tutorial for my usual brow routine if you guys wanna go ahead and see that. I'm just gonna use this spoolie to go ahead and brush them out. And this is the Black Radiant Brow Product. It's in the color Blackish Brown. So at first, when I opened this up, I was like, uh, where's the brush really there's no brush but if you actually look in here you just unscrew it and in the top here is a little brush so that's really really nice and it's very travel friendly because sometimes you're gonna forget to bring your brow brush with you well if you're like me and you're a little bit forgetful then that's gonna happen so I'm just gonna dip it in here and get a little bit at a time Ooh, so far I really like how precise this brush can be especially for outlining the brows okay so so far I like it but I'm gonna have to say that I definitely still need my benefit brow pencil because uh, it just, I feel like it just can't do the job alone. I need a pencil product like this one to go ahead and fill it in. And because I don't really have another brow pencil, this is the one I'm gonna stick with. So I went ahead and just kind of skipped ahead for most of my brows. As you guys can see, I think that the product is really good for outlining your brows, but as far as filling them in and making it look natural, not so much. But hey, if you love a bold brow look, then do you, boo. Moving on to the eyes, I'm gonna use this Wet n Wild Primer. I really like it, I think it's a good, um, drugstore shadow base. It's not one of my favorites, but I think it gets the job done. Then I'm gonna set that with a skin toned eyeshadow. So I've really been wanting to play with this little trio eye palette. I'm not exactly sure if that's what you call it, but this is the Black Radiant and it's in the palette, I think it's called uh, Bashful something like that but it's basically just a bunch of neutral colors so I'm going into this color right here none of them have names so you know how that goes but this is really nice for in the transition so far these shadows are actually pretty pretty nice they're really blendable and easy to work with now that I'm using this little shimmer shadow I really want to make sure that I use my fix plus to intensify it because it's going to be the main lid color. Interesting. I don't think that these shadows work really well when they're wet, so I'm gonna take a different brush and try it again. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can see this, but I really don't like this one, this little shimmer shade, because there's so much fallout all under here, and it doesn't really work that well whether it's dry or wet. I mean, the only way I can see that you can save this is to only use it as an inner corner highlight, because you'll only need a little bit, but beware of fallout. Okay, so I'm going to remove this fallout and see if I can save this with the dark shadow here. Well, that was a complete disaster. So it turns out that even the uh, really dark shadow here, it's just, it goes on super light. It doesn't even cover up the actual eyeshadow base. It just still looks like like you can just see the eyeshadow base underneath and I hate that. So I'm going to take this off 
and I'm gonna get uh, another palette because I just I can't I can't deal with this it's just not the quality that I'm looking for okay I'm back round two same eyeshadow base and we've got a different little eyeshadow palette here this is from the brand pixie as you can see right here and these little two shades they're so cute they're the plum lace palette or a little duo palette now I'm going in with fix plus and applying the light shimmer shade so I'm noticing that there is quite a bit of fallout with this one as well so we started off kind of rough uh, first of all this black radiance little trio here is just trash None of the shades really work that nicely except for just this transition one, but is it worth buying? Uh-uh, I don't think so. And also the Pixie Beauty little duo set here. The shimmer shade is incredibly, incredibly hard to work with, but this purple shade is so nice. That's my lid color right now. If you use Fix Plus with it, it's beautiful. All right, so now it's time for my liner, and I'm using the Inglot. Uh, number 77 gel liner and this one is just amazing it's so smooth and easy to work with so I've already primed with my Bobbi Brown vitamin enriched face base which is hands down my favorite and for foundation I'm gonna go in with the black radiance uh, color perfect HD mousse foundation in Coffee. So the cool thing about this one is it's like a moussey texture. However, it's supposed to dry down to a more matte base. Let's just hope that the color is right. Oh, this is not bad. Hey, go Black Radiance. So because this dries down, I'm just going to work in sections. So honestly, you guys, I really didn't like the finish that the Beauty Blender was giving it, and I feel like it was soaking up too much of the product, making the actual coverage very light. So I'm going to try again, add some more, and this time I'm using my Morphe M439. Alright, so all together it's not that bad. I haven't set it yet, so it looks it looks pretty decent. I have to say that it's kind of weird because the texture of the foundation is moussey, but it kind of crumbles, and I found that a couple crumbles like fell onto my shirt. And not that I was being clumsy or anything, it's just kind of hard when you're dabbing it on your face and blending it out, it just kind of falls out and crumbles. But I do like the finish of it. It looks more like your skin tone, like a better version of your skin, if that makes sense. Now I'm jumping into the Cream Contour Palette, which I've been super, super excited to use. And I'm really hoping that I can use the Sculpt shade to contour. So it's interesting, this Cream shade really has more of a red undertone, which for me wouldn't work, but for somebody else who has a reddish undertone in their skin, would look really nice. So it's definitely more of just a concealing and not as much of a highlighting. But for the purposes of this video, since we're trying things out, I'm trying to be different, I'm gonna keep it on and then I'm also gonna set that with their sculpting powder. So this is actually kind of interesting. Um, when I was reading about where you're supposed to put the sculpt, it, it actually is not supposed to go under the eye. So my bad. Actually, after I've set it with that sculpt powder, it doesn't look too bad. But in fact, you're supposed to place it on your forehead, brow bone, brow bone, bridge of your nose, and cheeks. So you could use that as well. Um, I would say it's not bad as a concealer, as long as you're not trying to highlight. If you are trying to highlight, then it's not gonna work just like that, but it'll still look nice. So I'm actually gonna place the Sculpt Cream where it's supposed to go, so right over my eyebrows, on the bridge of my nose, on my cheeks, 
and also my Cupid's bow. Next up, I'm moving on to the bronzer, this shade right here, and I'm going to add it right where I want to just kind of highlight under my cheekbone. Ooh, so far so good. This looks really nice. Wow, I'm feeling it. It's like the perfect, perfect cream shade. And of course, I'm gonna go ahead and set that with the powder shade here. So I definitely wanna test out this contour cream on my nose. I usually don't contour my nose, but for the sake of this, let's just try it out. Why not, right? You know what? So far, so good. I really like both of those. I will say for the powder shade for your nose, you definitely want to pick up just a tiny, tiny bit because it is really pigmented, which can be good for your face contouring, but on your nose, you don't want it to look very noticeable. So that's just a little tip if you have that. For my face to just set all over, I'm going to use this pressed powder in the shade Bronze Glow. You guys, I'm only gonna use a little bit because that foundation was very matte and did the job. I just wanna make sure it's going to last throughout the day. So I'm gonna just stipple it on here, again, with with a very light hand. Okay, it feels nice and light. It doesn't look super powdery. So far, I like it. And for the blush, I'm super excited about this. It just looks so beautiful. I'm gonna go in with a light hand because it's very, very, very pigmented. Like, look, just two little dabs. So actually, I'm gonna take some off because I'm not trying to look like a clown. And I'm just kind of dabbing it on because if I sweep it on fully, it's gonna be too much. So I'm going right back into the cream contour. And this time I'm gonna go ahead and add the highlighting to the sides of my cheek. Look at that. It is gorgeous. So I added in just kind of like a C motion, guys. And I'm actually gonna use my finger so I can get better blending. Ooh. Honestly, I think the finger works better. And you know what, guys? Before I even add the powder highlight, I gotta go in with my Fix Plus. And I'm just gonna let this dry off for a bit. And while my cheek is still semi-damp, I'm gonna go in with the highlighting powder and just a little bit. Whoo, that glow, yes. I am feeling this. And a little bit on my nose. This is the final look. Now, I really like the gloss because I feel like it just looks so nice on top of a brown liner. It gives it a little bit more dimension than just brown lipstick and gloss. It's like a little bit of that pink reflectiveness in it. It's really, really gorgeous. Honestly, my favorite products were the contouring products, the cream and the powder. And also I do like the foundation. It does dry down super, super matte. So in my opinion, this would be really good for a summer foundation. Um, of course, I do have to wear it a little bit longer like throughout the day to really tell the performance of it. But initially, I think it's really, really, really nice. And um, the products that I was not feeling, I was not feeling that trio eyeshadow and I definitely like I'm just kind of on the fence about the brow products I don't think that they're super necessary because I do like more of a natural brow but I think for somebody that does like a bolder look then that might be really really good for you I also really loved the blush and also the pressed powder was so nice so light as well and not highly pigmented just good enough for setting the face so I definitely plan to use a lot of these products I honestly will definitely like return the eyeshadow palette or just give it away to somebody because I just I can't I can't deal with it <laughs> uh, I just thought that the trio one was just like 
trash so I don't know I would honestly tell you guys not to waste your money on it but if you have a different experience with it please let me know down in the comments and also if you're watching this right when this video uploads I might be doing a live stream on Saturday which will be May 26th so let me know if you guys will be available that date because I do know it's a holiday and I'm not really sure if you guys are going to be around. I thought it'd just kind of be nice to do a real time get ready with me. So let me know if you're available for that as well. Otherwise, leave your comments down in the comment section and let me know what you thought about these products and what you think about this overall look. I think I made everything work pretty well and um, I'm, I'm very impressed. This is probably my favorite drugstore look that I've done so far. All right, well that's it for today's video. I hope you guys really, really enjoyed it. If you did, please give this a thumbs up and I will see you in the next video. Bye.